Braden. So Grace and Perno. What's happening everybody? So it's been a crazy last few days. Um, just been super busy and dealing with a lot of things. So what I'm gonna do on this video is show you guys the earth bag Kiva structure thing roof. Now I know I keep calling it the earth bag Kiva structure thing and you might just be like, why don't you just call it the earth bag or the Kiva or whatever. But it's kind of a, it's a hybrid. So I don't quite have a name for it yet but that's just what I call it. Anyways, um, gonna be going over the roof on that and why I decided to do the roof this way. So here we go. So before I can even get to the roof, there were a few things I had to do for prep work before that. And one of those was to cut down the rest of these posts um, a little more even because initially I put them in not knowing how tall we were going to make this thing so i just wanted to give myself some extra just in case so here i'm just using an electric chainsaw to cut it down so that's what i'm doing So here I'm standing on the roof because there were a few boards that got warped from all the rains. So I just had to go up here and replace them and I got to be very careful and watch my footing here. So I don't have to go any further than the back of the truck here and I'm just going to jump in here and show you guys what I'm using for the roof. So this right here is hardboard. Now this is yucca hardboard. This is the same stuff you put on the back of dressers, uh, cabinets and that kind of thing to stop them from wobbling. So it's not really thick stuff. It's uh, this stuff here is a quarter inch and it's a quarter inch and I got 15 of these sheets. So that's what I'm gonna be using. Now I'll explain to you why here in a minute, but cost being one but but there's also another reason so and I'm also going to show you guys this stuff this is what I'm going to be putting on the roof so what I'll do with these sheets is I will coat them with this stuff and it's like asphalt emulsion it's uh it's real good it works really well you just put this stuff on and you know it'll dry on there and man it'll make this stuff waterproof real quick and then after that's done i'll cover it with this stuff and this is the this is the real the real coating here this is the stuff that keeps it a little cooler and keeps it even more waterproof so this stuff here is just it's been tested you know very much in arizona and it works really really well so this is what i'm using for the roof and then finally when I put these things on these big sheets, they're like kind of like big shingles. So as I put them on like big shingles, what I do is I'll use this stuff to patch up those creases. So I just put a little strip there on the creases and just patch it up with this stuff before I put this on. So now I'm going to take you guys to the top of the roof and show you the rest. So now that the rains have subsided at least a little bit, I'm able to set up shop in here and I'm going to show you just what it looks like from underneath here. So earlier videos, I welded a steel truss out of scrap steel and it's a 24 foot long truss. And what this allows me to do is not only support the roof, but it allowed me to use shorter rafters. I could use 8 to 10 foot rafters and join them in the center here on the truss where I welded some long brackets. So 8 to 10 foot rafters is much better than finding 20 foot rafters which are going to be much more expensive. And right here there's a hole where a window is going to go and that pole in the center here is not going to be there, it's just to support me while I'm on the roof. So looking out on the horizon here, you'll see the chicken run that I built. This was the first thing I built when I came out here and it was all made of pallets. And speaking of pallets, here are the slats that go across the rafters. 
and what this is going to do is it's going to reduce the open square footage um, basically all the empty space that you would have if you did it normally would require uh, thicker boards like OSB so what this does is it reduces it to about a third of that and it makes it to where I can use these quarter inch pieces versus the thicker and much more expensive OSB and the shed right there was done with an eighth inch roof and it's made it through the monsoons without a drop of rain in there so it's all about waterproofing it and that's what we're gonna do so stick around for part two and thanks for watching